Okay. The impeachment inquiry that Kevin McCarthy announced this morning without first putting up to a vote to the full house. Um, I've been sitting here going, I don't know that this has ever happened before. Uh, this feels very unprecedented to me and is a full, is a vote of the full house required to initiate an impeachment inquiry. And so I started doing some research and I found an article, um, one website that I trust implicitly and completely uh, on these types of issues is a website called Lawfare, L-A-W-F-A-R-E, I believe it's .org. And I found an article from October 2019 And it talks about since taking control of the House of Representatives in the midterm elections of 2018, the Democrats, led by Nancy Pelosi, have been exploring how it might be possible to pursue an impeachment inquiry into Donald Trump. And around that time, Speaker of the House, Nancy Pelosi, announced that the House of Representatives is moving forward with an official impeachment inquiry. But what counts as an official impeachment inquiry? And what is required to move forward with one? House Minority Leader at the time, Kevin McCarthy, sent a letter to Pelosi asking her to suspend the impeachment inquiry until they could figure out the rules and procedures to put in place uh, and a floor vote authorizing an impeachment inquiry could be taken. Speaker Pelosi responded that no vote was necessary. Well, shit. Looks like we did it first, kids. Um, And then White House counsel Pat Cipollone responded to Pelosi saying that the Trump administration would not cooperate with the House's constitutionally invalid impeachment inquiry in part because the House had not voted to authorize such a dramatic constitutional step or provided the president with due process protections. Is it constitutionally acceptable for the House Speaker to initiate an impeachment by means of nothing more than a press conference? In short, the answer is yes. The constitutional text on this issue is sparse. The Constitution simply says that the House has the sole power of impeachment. Now, Kevin McCarthy has announced an impeachment inquiry, and he has assigned three committees to lead that impeachment inquiry. Two of them are led by James Comer and Jim Jordan, who have been lying about the evidence they have against Joe Biden for the last eight months. Now, those committees will form articles of impeachment and will vote those articles out of committee at some point, we, who knows when, and then the House will, will have to vote on those articles of impeachment in order for those articles of impeachment to be adopted. The House does have to vote on those articles. If the House adopts those articles by a simple majority vote, then Joe Biden will have been impeached then it will be up to the Senate to hold a trial. Fortunately, Senate Republicans want absolutely nothing to do with this or with anything else that the House Republicans are doing currently, like with the budget fight. McCarthy and the House Republicans are going to hang the House Republicans out to dry on that issue, and they're going to make them look like clowns. But it doesn't look like there is anything preventing Kevin McCarthy from doing what he announced this morning, which sucks. So... There's that.